Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2015 Ford Focus. And this one's pretty loaded up. This is the titanium trim level with the color called Magnetic. Some people call this vehicle the Baby Fusion. So if you're looking for a vehicle that gets awesome, awesome gas mileage, doesn't cost a whole lot of money, and you have a ton of features, definitely check this uh, this this focus out because it has well I'll show you have to show you <laughs> so you can see right off the bat it already has um, 17 inch alloy wheels that are kind of classy looking they're still kind of silver in color there and the overall design uh, like I mentioned before kind of looks similar to a fusion in the front But, I mean, I think it has a look of its own. I mean, it really looks, looks like a quality vehicle. And it's not too small, it's not too big, it's a pretty good size. So looking here on the front, you can see it does have the halogen headlights. And you do have the fog lights as well. It's got the chrome grille. Let's get a profile here. This one, you can get a hatchback, but this one has the uh, the regular trunk there. But uh, here's the key. It is a sleek key fob that fits in your pocket. And um, so basically, once this make sure it's locked. And let's go ahead and start it up with the remote start. It is a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine which gets 38 miles per gallon on the highway that's 38 miles per gallon on the highway so we can use the key here to unlock it we can also lock it unlock it start it open up the trunk um, but they also the ability to just walk up and get in the vehicle um, just by putting our hands on the, the handle here uh, will unlock to relock it you just put your finger on your finger on this pad here it'll relock it. This is a proximity key. It uh, The vehicle senses the key is in a close proximity and also senses your hand touching the handle. So doing that number, open, you can open up the door. The climate control is on. It's ready to go. Here's the inside of the passenger door. You can see it's got a bottle holder and some, some little pockets there. Window control, door lock control, a speaker for the premium set uh, Sony sound system this one has. You can see it has the tan leather seats, and they are heated, heated leather seats here in the front. Manual adjustments on the passenger side. Take a look here in the glove department, pretty good size. Take a look at the back seat. There's the inside of the back door. You got the pocket, the, um, speaker there you also have a little uh, tweeter speaker and a pocket there on the door it's a little bit more mi uh, minimal as far as the features there on the back door here's the back seats you do have nice quality stitch leather seats here in the back pretty decent amount of legroom considering the size of the vehicle uh, those front seats are back very far so um, you know so if the front seats are a little bit further you have a little bit more legroom but it's still pretty adequate considering the seat is so big You have a little place to put some stuff there. Also, this folds down and you got an armrest with some cup holders. Kind of shallow though. These, seat, these seats will fold down. So if you need some more cargo space in the trunk, um, you do have that option. Also here on the side of the seat, you have a little pocket just to kind of put stuff. Here's the fuel door, it is on the passenger side, but it is a capless design. You don't even need to use a cap. You just put the nozzle in there and pump your gas, close it up, you're ready to go. So looking at the back, you can see it does have a spoiler. It also has the parking sensors across the back. That's those little uh, circles there on the bumper. You also have 
little camera back here. That's your backup camera. It's a wide angle lens, kind of like a GoPro. And you've got the Ford emblem there. Titanium badges. You got the focus badge there. So there's a couple ways you can open the trunk. Um, one of them is using the key. So I'm gonna use the key here. It pops open all the way. You don't even have to lift it up. So you walk up here, you can you know get your stuff out or put your stuff in. You notice it does have a Sony subwoofer back here to really uh, get that sound going, fatten up the sound for your radio. Also, under here is a spare tire lift this up it's kind of a donut spare tire some new vehicles do not have spare tires so you want to you know, make sure that when you're shopping for new vehicles you need to know whether you have one or not that's my suggestion let's take a look at the window sticker so you you know I'm not lying 38 miles per gallon on the highway that's awesome see the features there All right, this is um, heated side mirrors, power adjusted heated side mirrors. So here's the inside of the driver's door. It's the same as the other side. It does have um, more buttons though. Also, I want to point out, it does have a side marker there for at nighttime to where um, it can illuminate that light or have a reflector there. So when a car is coming, uh, they don't actually accidentally hit your door. Power windows, uh, you can lock out the rear um, windows if you want to with that button but you have the power windows for all four doors um, the side mirror controls are there the door lock controls are right there power seats power seat on the driver's side you have lumbar support as well on the driver's side there's a really nice tan leather seats they look striking to me right here is your um, your headlight controls you have an automatic so like right here is your uh, off position, next is your parking light, next is your headlights, next is automatic function there. Pushing, um, pushing this button here turns on your fog lights, open your trunk with that button, and also your dimmer switches are here for turning, uh, you know, adjusting your interior lighting as far as your, your gauges. All right, so let me go ahead and hop in. Uh, it's a pretty warm day, so the remote start is turning on the air conditioning for me, full blast. Um, so when I'm walking towards the vehicle or whatever, it's, it's preparing me for um, getting in the vehicle. So since I use remote start, I still have to turn the vehicle on. You notice the screen's not on. I can't, I can't really drive the vehicle now, okay? So what I have to do is still push this button and that will turn everything on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fan speed down so, um, so we can hear, hear, the, uh, hear the audio a little bit better. So, getting a little bit of light in here. So let me go ahead and reposition this vehicle to where it's a little bit more uh, in the shade. So that way maybe the camera will pick up the features a little bit better. There we go. Alright, so looking at the steering wheel, you see it is a leather wrap stitched steering wheel with some bolsters here and there. Quality feeling steering wheel. Um, so on the right, you notice it has lots of buttons. On the right here is your volume control for your radio so you can adjust the volume up and down you can also change to the tracks here and here but also these buttons also serve for your uh, for your Bluetooth phone so you can send calls and receive calls uh, using these buttons here you do have a voice recognition button here in the center uh, pushing that button will uh, allow you to say a lot of commands such as uh, tune to a certain station, go to a certain address on the navigation system, call a certain person, that kind of stuff. That's what that button's for. Your cruise control buttons are down here, on, off, resume, all the regular stuff there. Now these buttons, the OK and the arrows, correspond with uh, right between all these gauges here. Of course you have your uh, miles per hour, your RPMs, 
your fuel gauge and your temperature gauge uh, but you also have this center screen and right now it's showing you a digital speedometer but I can get out of that by pushing the left arrow and it will take me to um, basically a, a scrolling menu system where I can scroll in and, and, and change information find out information about the vehicle by going into that um, all kinds of cool stuff there I'm gonna go back out of that uh, we're gonna go into settings just see what's in there all kinds of different settings there um, let me go you can change the display and all that but the trip so right there I'm going to go into the trip this gives me the ability to have the speedometer but also I can go into the trip odometer and uh, average miles per gallon basically and um, is busy, this right here will give you the actual fuel economy in that moment while you're driving which is pretty cool and then distance to empty, that kind of stuff, and a trip timer. And then you got, you know, different, uh, like a summary gauge there. Anyway, that's basically the whole point of the screen is to kind of give you specific information that you choose what you want on the screen. And right now it says NW on the right corner. That is corresponding with the, um, that's letting me know that I'm, the vehicle's facing northwest. Also, it says 84 degrees. That's the outside temperature. All right, turn signals are over here. Uh, your windshield wipers and stuff are all over on that side. All righty, so now we get to the 8-inch screen. And this is a pretty cool screen. This is the home screen, which you can always go to by pushing this button. And you have four corners. And basically, um, your phone is in this top corner here. Once you pair your phone, you can have all your information there. Um, let's see if it'll show it. Yeah, once you pair a device, you'll be able to access your um, your your phone book and all kinds of cool stuff. But right now, there's no uh, phone paired, so it's not really going to give you. It kind of blacks everything out. So you got a touch screen there. You also have uh, all your different um, options, but of course, they are uh, blacked out. So let me go back to the home screen. So that's your phone. Top right is navigation. Uh, right now, the SD card is not inserted into the um, for the navigation, so I can't really demo that. But basically, it's just a you know kind of like a Garmin system. In that, you will be able to see a map. You also put in addresses, all that good stuff. And in the bottom left is your entertainment. So basically, that's your uh, that's like your radio and stuff like that. Let me turn the volume down. But your radio and your satellite radio, AM, FM, CD, USB. Bluetooth, um, SD card, and then your auxiliary line in. There's lots of different ways you can play music through a sound system. I'm really surprised as a CD player. Um, those are kind of obsolete now because there's so many other ways of playing music that's more efficient. But anyways, um, that's your radio screen, your entertainment screen. And then climate is your last screen down here. Um, you notice it's all four corners. You have four options. So you're in your climate, you have your temperature, your fan speed, where you want the air to blow, your air conditioning, all that good stuff. And of course you have it down here as well, but um, you know it's good to have more than one place to do the same thing just for out of convenience. So your CD player is here, it's a Sony premium sound system, and your volume control is here. Tune through the stations, um, right there, uh, you can change your sound. Your source is basically AM, FM, satellite radio, all those different sources. Climate control is down here. It does have heated seats here in the front, driver and passenger. And then you have the, um, you know, your temperature. You can turn, change your temperature, uh, left and right, um, driver and passenger, and uh, you know all the all the stuff you see on the screen basically is down here for the most part. There's a, a pocket down here, right below there, but also has a USB, and that USB is for plugging in something to you know play music. Also, you can charge uh, devices, all that good stuff. And you have a power supply here, really handy. This is pretty neat. This is a place, I um, haven't seen this in too many vehicles, as a place to put cards, like say a credit card, your driver's license, that kind of stuff. So, and it basically you can you know have two cards here, whichever you want. And um, so I thought that was a pretty neat little uh, addition there. Um, to where if somebody's you know carrying a, a, a debit card or a credit card or a driver's license 
uh, they can just, um, if they don't have like a, a wallet they keep it in, if they're having it in their hand or whatever, they can just go ahead and slide it in there out of convenience. Um, you know, it could be, you know, other kind of cards, I don't know, but if you need to have a card handy, there's a really good place to put it. So the shifter here, I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse to show you a few things. So when I put it in reverse, a couple things pop up. One is, it's letting me know that the parking sensors are active. Parking aid. And you can turn them on or off right there. Also, you have this screen that pops up. And you have the little image of the vehicle there. But this screen is your back, your, your sensor, your, um, your backup camera. But you notice it's a little bit distorted. So, you know, it's a little bit wide angle but you'll be able to see you from the bumper to the sky and pretty good around your vehicle um, now when you turn the steering wheel you'll see there's lines pop up there and let you know kind of you know estimated trajectory of the vehicle as you back up um, also you can push this button and it'll focus in on a point and that point is where you would back up to like a trailer or something but this vehicle doesn't have the trailer tow package so if it did you can you know really focus on that all right so you can also continue down so here's uh, neutral there's drive now you can go into sport mode and sport mode tells the vehicle that you want to have the emphasis on uh, performance and not fuel economy so um, so that will give you the highest performance in sport mode you can also change to the gears using this button here and so like say um, you can push the button it goes in the first second third as you're driving you can have some level of control over the shift points it's not going to let you go too far out of range uh, to avoid you know messing up the engine or transmission but it does give you that ability to um, you know have some level of control over the shift points there's the uh, the parking brake slash emergency brake you just lift it up push the button to make it go down it's set that simple cup holders are pretty interesting they are pretty good size they're well placed and they also have these little things these little um, uh, spacers that that you can have in there or not depending on the size of the cups that you use uh, so I thought that was pretty cool because you definitely want to don't want to be fumbling around with a hot cup of coffee while you're driving um, so you want to make sure that you have a very convenient place to put your coffee or whatever you're going to put there to where you're, it's easy to put in, easy to pull out and all that good stuff. Center armrest here is also a place, um, this little storage spot and it has this little um, tray that comes out and you know you can empty it or whatever, put change. But also under there you got some more storage space and you have a power supply 12 volt Plus, this is where you'll find your SD card, your line in, which is auxiliary input, and your USB port. Also, there's a place down here, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but if your battery goes dead in your key fob, you can lay your key down there, and we'll sense your key, and you can still start up your vehicle. Pretty sure that's the case. Uh, Maybe wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Also, you have a place here to put wires in and out of this compartment. Okay, so here is your uh, rear view mirror. It just basically, night mode is, is uh, manually adjusted like so. You have a place to put some sunglasses up here. Small glasses, so if you got the, the fancy glasses, might not fit. Um, you do have the tap lights for a quick reading light. They do look like they're LED. Uh, you also have the ability, this, ha this vehicle has um, ambient light at nighttime, and I wish I could show you. Uh, this is, has the ability to turn it up and down, also to change to the colors of the ambient light on the inside. And our, I can't really show it to you because it's daylight, but anyways. Um, then your interior light, all your interior lights turn on with that button. And then uh, this is for your sunroof. So you've got a, a sunroof here, and you got a shade, opens up, and then you can open up the sunroof. Like so. Or you can close it. You can also use the shade. Take a look at what it looks like out there.
All right, let me back up a little bit and I'll show you the engine. Hopefully it's not covered in plastic because that will not be fun. I want to see some metal engine. You know, so I'm backing up and I'm looking out the, the windows and the mirrors and also I got the backup camera there helping me out. Let's check out this 2.0 liter four cylinder. It does paired with a six speed automatic transmission. So let's go feeling over here. I think it's over here. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's not covered up too bad with plastic. It does have some plastic, but not as bad as some. 38 miles per gallon on the highway. That's awesome. Definitely want to get a vehicle that's good on gas um, for a civilian vehicle this size. Um, it's not a huge vehicle, but it is has some substantial room. All right, there you have it, 2015 Ford Focus in magnetic. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you for watching. I really, really, really appreciate your time. And also, thank you to Conway Ford for allowing me to uh, show you awesome vehicles here on their lot. I'd really appreciate them. And um, But yeah, if you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comment sections, any kind of clarifications. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. See you next time.